So I want you to really understand what we're trying to do in this project. And we're really trying to answer a big question, which is why does the Earth look like this? Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to use the surface features of the Earth. You're going to look at the data for surface features like mountains, volcanoes, um, and you are going to determine where all of the plate boundaries are just by looking at those surface features. And then you can figure out the direction each plate is moving. You can even then predict what the world is going to look like in 100 million years. You can do that with just a little bit of data. So how are we going to do that? So to start the project, you have to first do notes J. You can't possibly do this project without doing notes J. That was, uh, that was in the asynchronous, so if you haven't done that, you've got to do that first. There's, an edpo there's a, a bunch of little videos that, um, that you need to do, so do notes J first. Um, then the, the, next, the first thing to do really on the project is to review notes J. I mean, all of the things in notes J are super, super important. So you're going to review that by putting the plate boundaries, uh, putting the surface features, all those different surface features that you studied in the right, underneath the right uh, category down there. So we're going to have evidence of divergent boundaries, basically what surface features would tell us that we have a divergent boundary, and then what surface features tell us we have uh, evidence of a convergent boundary. You're just listing, you're not explaining anything, you're just going to put right volcanoes, uh, island arc trench, mid-oceanic ridge, things like that. Okay, and then we're going to, first, we can easily determine where the boundaries are. This is where earthquakes happen on Earth. Um, they're not randomly located. In fact, they just draw out a line right between the plates. So understand, though, that the thickness of the line does not mean that the line is any thicker. It just means that that's where there are more earthquakes. So there's a lot of earthquakes in the middle here, but there's a lot more earthquakes over here by, by China and Japan. Um, but you're gonna take all these lines and you're just gonna transfer them to your map as best as you can. Just draw single lines wherever you think the plates are. Where the plate, where the, where the plate boundaries are, um, they're where there are lots of earthquakes. So don't ignore. That's a, little, that's a little circle there. It looks like there's, that's a plate right there. You're gonna draw all these lines on your map. Connect the dots, connect the dots. So it looks like something's going on here. Okay, so that's the first step. So you just need the earthquake map and your map. The next thing you're gonna do, oh, well, so we're gonna draw those on. So remember, this is not, uh, this is an example, not correct, okay? So we just draw those as straight lines on the, on the map. Just use a black pen, put them right on the map as best as you can. But then we gotta figure out, well, what kind of boundaries are these? So we're gonna look at some other maps. We got these maps of volcanoes, we got maps of the ocean, and there's an, even another map there. We're gonna figure out which are divergent boundaries and which are convergent boundaries, all right? So let's say we determine that that's a convergent boundary. I mean, excuse me, that's a divergent boundary, that the, that the earth, that the plates are moving away from each other at that spot, all right? So that's a divergent boundary. We wanna label that a divergent boundary. So we're gonna make that red. And you can do that by changing the color in Kami. Um, and then we find out maybe that that one is a convergent boundary. So we're going to make that one green. So we're going to do that to as many of the boundaries as we can. Um, some of them are difficult. Some of them we don't quite know yet. So you can do as best as you can. But then what we're going to do is if this plate here is moving away from each that red and over here it's moving toward the green, well, what is this whole plate doing by itself, it's moving in one direction. That's the next thing we want to do, is we want to create an arrow that shows the direction of that plate. So if these boundaries were correct, I can say that this whole plate is moving to the right. So we're going to label uh, as many plates as we can with arrows. Um, and then there's some questions to answer, and that's our project. And um, if you have questions, you need to obviously come to me, or you can rewatch this video.